What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Today we got a beautiful build for you. Today we're building the brand new Zalman P30. That's right, you probably haven't seen this case before on the channel because it's brand new to us and it's brand new to the market. We're going all Asus Tough on this build as well. So we call it the Micro Tough system. It's going to be about $23.99 over here on our Quick Ship systems on our Stintzbell website. But we're going to start off with the tried and true 7800 X3D. I say it all the time, there's no better CPU right now in the market to be buying than the 7800 X3D when it comes to gaming. It is price per watt per dollar is the best performing CPU hands down. Pair with some beautiful 6000 CL30 RAM, you put it on a new, nice motherboard like today's B650M coming in from Asus and the Tough, and then you cool it with a really good cooler. Today we have the LC362 coming from Asus as well, and then to pair it all off, we have a 4070 Ti coming over in the Asus Tough OC. Absolutely killer system, it's pretty tough, if you get the Tough references, all intro. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. If you want to catch more videos like these that we post over here on our YouTube. And if you want to catch us live as well, you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv. We stream live at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we hope to see you soon. That being said, let me get mic'd up. I'll see you guys over there in just a minute. About 23, I think $23.99 too. It's a really good price for a performance system too, by the way. We don't need the tough fans today. We're going to put them in. We're originally going to be building in the A A20 from Asus. It's an all Asus build, but then Asus is like, we shipped it to you. We shipped it early. It was there when you guys were out of town, so we sent it back, and then we just refunded you. So I was like, all right, well, I'm not building that case today. <laughs> so we're like, let's build in the other one we want to build, which is this new Zalman case, which is crazy because Zalman's been around forever. And this case, Chad, I believe, is a hundred dollars. Comes with three RGB fans, and we're gonna check it out here in just a second. But first, we're gonna start getting everything ready on the motherboard with the cooler, our CPU, and whatnot. The case isn't too heavy either, which is nice. The great thing about what I like to do here on those streams lately is I've also liked to, to look at new products and give you guys our thoughts and thoughts, our and our kind of our, our opinions about new uh, products coming into the space as a system integrator, as somebody who's been building PCs for over 25 years. Uh, or, or almost 25 years, over 20 years, sorry, almost 25 years. I want to be able to give you guys ideas or thoughts, and my own personal opinions about somebody who's been building PCs as long, what I think about these products. So that's why we try to build something a little bit different once in a while on stream. Like today, we have a new case. I've been telling chat for a while, I've been trying to do new case Fridays. Uh, so we're trying to stay, stay to that, so. All right, let's get everything opened up here. Uh, it's actually a new motherboard too. I don't think we built this on stream, this board yet. I mean, it's Asus Tough Board. They've always been tried and true. I've always loved the Tough Boards. I love all Asus boards, to be real. Let's, Asus, Asus really commands that premium aesthetic on all their builds. Even the tough boards have gotten really sleek, which I really like to see. Packaging's really well done as well. So, um, we're gonna go top down, look at the new B650M. Um, we haven't built this before on the, on the channel. So, uh, before, in the, long, in the long run, the tough gaming to me was very like, almost construction-y, kind of like the, uh, what's that movie with, um, where he's like, he's protecting like that perfect creation. I can't think of the, her, it was like her, she had like orange hair. It has like that old, like kind of like industrial spacey kind of vibe. And they've changed that now uh, for Asus. It's become more sleek, more, uh, I mean, it still has those, 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 those touches of like the orange and flavor. fifth element. Yeah, it's kind of the fifth element vibe of like the, the spacey industrial kind of feel. They've changed that a lot more recently. It's become, yeah, it still has that like that blockiness and that kind of thing, but it's also more premium. Because I think they were trying to do the prime, like the, the initial prime stuff that they have, they have like two tiers of it, like the prime P and the prime A. So it was like prime P, prime A, tough, strix, and then um, they have like like hero, you know what I mean? So they've, they've got their tiers all the way up the line. Uh, and the tough is really like they're like, your enthusiast, your content creators, your everything. You can be on this board and have a lot of options, a lot of USB, a lot of connectivity, from really good value. So I've been really impressed with that. And they've changed the way it looks. It's been looking for the last about two generations. It's been getting better and better in terms of the aesthetic, which is what I like to see, because before I was kind of turned off by the tough boards. Um, and I'm starting to like them a lot more and more lately. They're, they're putting a lot of premium features in a more budget, but, ooh, budgetized board. We're gonna put our NVMe drive in, and then our CPU. Usually we do CPU first, but we're gonna do our NVMe drive. Sorry, I took that off. Here we go, one terabyte KT3000. Again, one of our standard drives here at Synthspill. It's probably one of our number one drives that we use here. Probably followed by the, the Samsung 980 or the NV2. Those are the three drives you primarily use here at Thinspilt. It's because they're priced, the performance, the quality, the longevity, they all fit the bill. We got our CPU, 700 X3D, no brainer. If I was gonna be buying a CPU myself right now, it would be this CPU. And the reason I say that is because I am not, I'm not doing a ton of video editing. 
I'm not doing a ton of like content creation. Even if I was, I still could do use the CPU and efficiently handle both. If I'm strictly gaming, 1440p at a pretty reasonable ref refresh rate, and I don't want to spend a fortune, this is the CPU to be buying right now. I would say that the other own one, other, but it comes close in terms of price, performance, and value is either 14600K or the 14.7. Those are the three CPUs, in my opinion, right now that are the best bang for buck. Down we go with the 7000X3D. Socket was looking great. No bent pins. Down and in we go. Let's latch it down. There we go. Let's get our cooler next. Again, today we have the brand new LC2 from Asus. So tough. Pretty nice looking. It's gonna go with the whole aesthetic today. It's gonna look really nice. Six plastic collars. Four standoff screws. Radiator screws. From true caps. Fan screws. Just reading everything, Jack. Okay, so remove the pre-installed heat sink mounts and install the plastic collars and screws. All right, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, that's easy. All right. So if you, it's a brand new product, don't don't be worried about like checking the the part the products. You know what I mean? If it's a brand new product, check it. Make sure you know what, exactly what you're, you're dealing with here. So I'm checking there the placement of, the, of these. So it looks like this goes up top. Easy. This goes down like so. There we go. Oh, standoffs are on. Got our RAM today. Originally, we were going to go with the T-Create with the, the kind of like goldish trim. We're going to go with Delta. The Delta RAM with the RGB. We have a lot of RGB in the system. Looks like let's just stay with the RGB, you know. Delta, 6000 Z30 RAM. Tried and true. One of the kits we always have here at Sensible. Fantastic RAM. The Delta always does look really good though. Like this T-Force Delta looks really good with this motherboard. The aesthetic kind of matches the black. Accents really match. There we go, all down and in. Beautiful looking setup right there. Again, B650 Tough M, 7000X3D. We had our standoffs in place for our LC2 coming in from Tough. That's the Asus uh, Tough 360 AIO. We've got a one terabyte KC3000 drive down here in our primary NVMe slot. And we have 6000 C30 RAM to really go really good with that 7000X3D coming in from Team Group and the T-Force Delta. RGB. That's again, that's 32 gigs of 6,000 CL30 RAM. All right, so everything aside, get everything out of the way. It's time to get this case out. And it's also cardboard reinforced from the, wow, for $100. Zalman, what are you doing? Why can't all these other cases you're, you're spending $180 on reinforce their, their cases? Chat, look at this right away. This is my first thought, initial process, my thought process. Zalman's reinforcing this. This is a reusable foam, which is really good for a system integrator to use. This is really durable. They reinforce the corner edges to help keep the case intact with hardcore double wall cardboard. That's impressive to see. It's really impressive to see. This reminds me already a lot of the height case. Just looking at it already. Reminds me a lot of the height Y40, um, but more like a lean lead design. Okay, a lot like the height Y40. Captive screws in the slide off top. Plastic weight reduction. Plastic top. Very height like. Quick access back panel, very NZX, NZXT like. See how the front glass comes off? This is very NZXT, like that. There's our case. These are reverse fans. Wow, blades feel really good. Very good bearings on the fans from what I can tell already. Pretty good cable management, tight back. The, on the back on the type is pretty thin, so cable management is gonna be fun. Would be hard for people who are looking to do Brady cables. I will say that would probably be a very hard thing to do in this case. Are they PWM fans? I didn't even look. No, they're, eight, they're DC power fans, but sometimes DC fans can be a solid offering when they're done right. So the fans aren't crazy, but you're getting three fans, Type-C, USB, RG, and, and also your, uh, your HD audio on the front. Rubber grommet pass-throughs here everywhere. You're seeing cable access pass-throughs for GPUs, both of a smaller two fan and three fan size. Looks great. The width of this easily looks like you fit a 4090 in here. I don't know about a Strix or an Aero card. They might be a little bit tighter, but I'm talking 48 Supers with ease, 4070 TIs. We have a TI right now. I'll show you. Actually, I have it out of the box. The car we're using today because we use it for a test bench. We have the 4070 TI Tough OC. This is a big card chat. This is a big card. We're going to show you right, right now what we think about the size of this. I mean, look at that. There's so much room in here. There's a ton of room, ton of room in that case. Okay, Zalman. All right, let's get started. I like this little case. 360 rad on the top too. Comes with two 120s already pre-installed. These are intake fans, exhaust fans. And I believe the one on the rear is gonna be exhaust. There's gonna be four exhaust, two intake. Not necessarily the worst airflows, but it's gonna have it's gonna have positive airflow. We'll see how the thermals are. Again, 700 x 3 is not a very thermal, like really hot thermal CPU. So we'll see more about that. One thing I wish I would have is a little standoff up here for the wires, not a big deal. Overall impressions for a $100 case, let's get this down and in. I will say the, though not having not having all your standoffs installed, pre-installed is kind of weird. Go back to where we were before realizing that all our standoffs installed. All right, let's get it installed. It's a minor annoyance. I mean, we're, we're talking like, what, 30 seconds to install more standoffs, not a big deal. It's just weird that you're marketing as an MATX chassis and not having all of your MATX standoffs in place. 
That's what I think is weird. Because it's you have it more set up right now for ITX or slim MATX, which are very you don't see a lot of those motherboards anymore that only have like six standoffs, you know? I'll flip it around you guys a little close up here. A lot of space. In this, in this case, actually. Next, let's work on our power supply, surprisingly. We're gonna work on the power supply next chat, just because we gotta get this in. We have so many cables in here, we can't really manage until the power supply's in, because we gotta keep them thin. Let's get our Z750, or we have a, sorry, a, a tough Z, Z, A750, ATX 3.0 power supply. I really like it, you wanna know why I like it? It comes with braided cables. That's right, they have their own kind of braided cable design, which is really nice. There's a total high power. We'll need, we, we may need SATA, so I'm just gonna plug one in. CPU one, CPU two, and then our 24 pin. There we go, all of our cables right there. All the extra will go in the bag. Right back in the motherboard box. All these cables are in, there we go. Beautiful cables. Beautiful cables. 24 pin main motherboard going in. I really like these cables. They're easy to bend, they look nice. Um, so let's see our working on the rest of it here. We have to run our HD audio, our RGB, our power, power LED connectors next for our power switch. The RGB's right here as well, so we'll tie into that RGB right here. Get our HD audio in, then work on the rest of these cables back here. We're almost done. All right, HD audio up and in. Then we can work on the rest of our cables, AKA our CPU power cables will be next. We're gonna move on to our AIO. All right, cable management on this case, very nice. There we go, chat. I'm pretty impressed so far. Really good cable management space. Okay, next to get our screws. So we're gonna be our fans secure. All in with this, are the fans. See this tough pump. Remember, please always take this off SIs. Uh, freaking one of the sponsored streamers that we even helped with their PC from another company didn't take this off. Take it off. <laughs> All right, our employees, luckily was local to that guy. I went over and took it off for him. We're gonna stand this right up just for a second here where we mount this. Black and cooler tubes are here. It's inline pump. Actually, it mounts in here very easily. Holy cow, I love this case already. All right. This 360 one up here like is nothing. Like literally it's mounting effortlessly in this case. Like I was expecting it to be a little harder to, to get, to get in there, like I have to angle it or, no, it goes right up and in. Front close up now. It's a palm, it's a Zalman, Zalman P30. Cable man wasn't too bad in this case. I mean, there's a lot of cables back here, a lot of daisy chaining of RGB, so it wasn't terrible. You can see right there, not too bad. Good so far, we just gotta run the, uh, the GPU. So we're gonna run the cable up and through. Let's get the GPU. We are had it opened up, again, 4070 Ti today. Coming from Asus or Asus in the tough. We had opened up yesterday for a test bench on a, another CPU. A customer orders did not have a GPU. Like, hey, we're gonna build this tomorrow. I'll just take it out of the box and we'll utilize it. It's a beautiful tough 4070 Ti OC. Go the whole tough theme today. Slide this beautiful 4070 Ti up and in. Here we go, chat. Nice dunk. Really, wow, it's gonna be sturdy in there too, surprisingly. Very sturdy. There we go. And then we go with the power right here. Look at that. Nice and clean. And the power comes out right there. Man, this is. I am thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. We didn't need any Saturday, but we have it ran already for the customer. Let's get ready to light it up. Can we get an exclamation point light up in chat? Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.